In the latest version of Cabmaster, we've changed the way the elevations now work. We've made it much easier. What we do once we've completed our drawing here, we press the elevation display elevation line at the top. It then displays a red line of the elevation you'd like to see. Using these blue arrows, we can change between any created walls. Once we've got the red line on the wall we like, click the elevation button, put the elevation on the plan. Change the other wall, click again, there's the next elevation. Now these elevations clearly don't fit on the page very well. If we double click here, we can change the zoom percentage or the actual size to 80% of original size. This one here, 80%. So we can quite happily get these to fit on the plan nice, nice and neatly. Now this bottom one here, you can see, we can only see up to the filler on this elevation on the overheads. Open this up again, you can see what it says is we only want to see 16 millimeters in front of that red line up here. Now the filler is 30 millimeters thick, so if we were to make this 40 millimeters, we can now see into the cabinets next to the into the overhead cupboards. Now, what we can do, we can now move this elevation around as one block. Instead of moving cupboards around as we used to be able to do, what we can now do, we can right click, go edit elevation. This comes into the elevation page. This now lets us start doing our own dimensioning of items that we want to dimension. So I can dimension, say, this cabinet through here. I can dimension that at an angle, or I can dimension it straight if I like. I say that's going to be at 270 degrees. Gives me a straight line. I can also come in here and add notes. So I could say something like splashback. So I could put that note on the plan here. I can move that around. When I go back to plan view, that note is now on that elevation. If we move the elevation around, those notes and dimensions stay with that uh, with the elevation. We can also go back into elevation view. We can choose a cabinet. I just want to put in a wall, a wall standard, and grab a wall standard cabinet. We can now draw in elevation view. So we can add cupboards into here. We can go and grab a filler. We can add things into here as well. If I grab the filler, 30 mil filler, and I can put that into place next to those cupboards as well, and everything snaps together as they always do anyway. And they are now available on this drawing also. Once we finish with the elevation, we turn the display line off. These elevations are there. We can see the rest of the drawing. So it's now much, much easier to do elevations, to control elevations. Um, thank you very much.